Hey guys, it's Monty. Welcome back to the channel. So I'm here today with another um, project share for Scrap Diva Designs. Um, <clears throat> as you know, I'm on the um, design team for Erica. Um, so I wanted to show um, what I've another project that I've made. Thank you so much, Erica, for all um, that you do for all the. Um, I just sent me and let me try out this it is such a fun thing I, I thank you again um, here is all her information okay make sure you follow the, the hashtag scrap diva designs for tons of inspiration from um, from all the designers and people who use the, the dies so anyway um, let me get into it and show you I think this turned out so cute so I'm gonna have a hard time getting it into the picture probably so I may I may have to like turn it on its side. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Okay, so I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to lay it down. What I have made is this cute little um, truck and trailers. <laughs> um, so this is Santa's truck and trailer. He's delivering packages. So these go in here but of course they you know fall out when I <laughs> when I um, tipped them over but that's the only way I'm gonna fit it into the camera so kind of just pull it like that so there's here's the front of it from the side anyway okay so what I have used and then so I'm just kind of get get you the full thing of what it looks like okay this is kind of large let me see, maybe I can, maybe if I back up, let me back out a little bit. Oh, there you go. Now you can see more of the mess on my desk. <laughs> see what tiny little space I have to work in to show you guys. <laughs> okay, so there's a bigger picture of it. Okay, let me go back in a little bit so I can show you up close. Okay, so let's start off here. The main die that I started off with was, again, the, um, this is the, 3D um, mini claw machine. And if you turn it from the side, it looks to me like a truck. <laughs> so anyway, um, I think somebody else has done a truck also, um, but I decided to make a truck and mine's kind of like a tray and trailers because it's got the little trailers behind. Um, let me see if I can kind of turn it so I can let you see from the front I have, let's see. So I have a, a little wreath on the front and I have in the uh, striped, candy cane striped letter says Santa. And then I've got a little cute little Santa ornament in there. So he's driving. Okay, on the top here, I have this cute little, it's, it was a 3D um, star, glitter star. And then I uh, attached a um, striped uh, bead and then I topped it off with just this little uh, glitter Piece that I had so this just kind of makes it a handle I trimmed all the way around the lid with this uh, trim from I think it was Walmart last year and so I trimmed that and then uh, I just added a few different pieces of you know decor that I had to, to decorate the side and I used a puppy um, gold uh, thickers from a, a thicker pack that I have got the cute little reindeer another star little Santa candy cane, snowflake. Um, underneath you can see I use the um, the beads for legs and then I attached uh, wheels outside just to you know cover up the beads, which it would look cute with the beads just showing too, but I just went ahead, since I had the tire um, die, I went ahead and used it too. And then um, let me show you what I how I did the back. Now, I'm sure there's um, Scrap Diva Designs. Hang on just a second. I'm sure in my stash somewhere there's more, um, hang on, Pixie, get out of the way. Um, there's more things you can make a box with, but I had these that I bought at, um, it was on clearance at Hobby Lobby a long time ago, and they're not really, a I mean, they, they're made to be a box, but they don't like stay together themselves. Um, but it's, so it's it's like made to go in like the bottom of like a treat bag and so it just like folds up 
you know, inside the bag, and but you don't have to like attach it. Anyway, I just um, taped, you know, folded it all up, taped it together, and then I um, uh, pieced layering pieces all around to 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 um, you know for the for the design. So that's what I use for that, and um, to make to make these two things. You can still see the gold shining through here, but on the outside, on the inside, all the sides. I coated with, um, you know, I covered with some pretty pattern paper. Um, so, let's see. What I used for, so this is the 3D claw machine die. Do not, again, I've told you before another thing, do not be discouraged or frightened away by how many pieces there are. It is super easy to put together, okay? Um, it only, you only use like a few dies to put it together and then the rest are just laying their layering pieces which you can use or not depending on what you want and then all the little accessory things um this one here is just basically the you know the frame and the layering pieces i didn't put you know any of the claw machine type things on this one i had made one already i've already shared um this one here so it turns out really cute and you can you know you have all these other extra pieces that you can add on and the claw machine hanging down there and there I read. I did redid my top. I decided I wanted to do something different on top, so I added some flowers and stuff on top of this one and filled it with some cute pom poms. So anyway, that's what it looks like. Just as you know, regular machine. Um, so again, I all I did was the out, you know, the basic shape of the of the box, okay, of the three D claw machine. So that's what it is. So then my little um, trailers are out of that little box that I showed you. And then I use these pieces here, these little railings. That comes from the um, the truck truck mini album die set. So all I used from that was this little piece right here, which is the these railings. And then I use the the you know the tire tire and wheel pieces. That's all I used from this set. So that's how I put those together. Now I attached these two um, trailers together with the this is some. Um, trim that I have. I've had it in my stash for a long time and yeah, I, it looks like chain and so I thought, you know, that would be cute. So I just punched a hole in each of these, each this end and this end, and then I pulled, you know, some of the um, trim through and glued it inside and so this is how my, this is how my thing holds and drives. So anyway, I did those um, railings on both pieces. Okay, I strung some, um, this little trim that I had, I think I got it at, it was either Walmart or Hobby Lobby. I just love it. It's so, because it's so small. I like it. Um, I put some of Snowflake pieces on the, on the, on the tires. Um, here and here, I use the um, Elf Bow from Scrap Diva. Let's see, where is that at? So, and these are, I believe, the, because I have all three. I think these are the medium, the medium size ones. Okay. And then I layered them up with some, you know, just different pieces. I hung um, little charms and stuff and beads uh, that I got from uh, BB Craft. This one I just tied around some gold thread. And yeah, and so then I just attached the bow to the railing. So there's two railings here. So I put, cut two out. I lined them. So there's two layers of each. So there's like a pink solid layer, 110 uh, in the back. And then I just offset the pattern paper in the front. Kind of gives it a little cute little look but it, I, I, I was going for some sturdiness you know so anyway so that's kind of what that looks like and then I did the same thing on the back side so it would you know look good from this side I didn't decorate the other side of it so it's you know just one-sided at this point but anyway that's how it looks so there's my little thing now this thing can hold a lot of stuff too so like at first I had put like some ribbon I mean that's four things of ribbon there's still a little bit of room there and then I thought how cute it would be to make, you know, like a little centerpiece, like putting some cute little, you know, like cute little Christmas trees and stuff in the back and just make a little scene back there, how cute that would be. So this is, you know, quite a bit of space. And the, let's see, let me tell you how big this box is. Now you could make this box easily yourself, but I just had these in my stash. And so I've been trying to use them up and it's just kind of, you know, it's already <laughs> pretty much pre-made. So. Um, let's see, it's about five inches 
long and it's about three inches wide. And it's only, I think it's only about an inch deep. Yeah, about an inch deep. So I think it turned out really cute. And I think it would be so cute to have the centerpiece on, you know, some of your decor, you know, or on your table and you could put like nuts in it or something, you know, for, for Christmas, you know, or um, candy, you know, put a little, I, this is this this one just happens to be food safe because that's what it was for um, like I say I got it in the um, I think it was in the food section you know the baking section at Hobby Lobby so that's what it was for so it is food safe so I could put some food in there if I wanted to like some nuts or cookies or something just kind of stack them up what a cute little gift that would be so anyway just wanted to show you that so it does hold those but then I decided that I wanted to make it more look more like um, you know, Santa's truck and stuff that he was towing along. So I decided to use this die, which is the present die from Scrap Diva. So yeah, it's just called present die like this. Okay, so I just took the all the, the front pieces and layered them up in the bow. And then I what I did was cut another base piece, this big piece with the, this is the, the big base piece right here this piece. I cut another one of these and I um, uh, attached it to the back of, uh, let's see, I use this die also from Scrap D, but this is the bag, this is the bag maker. So it does your bottom and your sides and then I just attached the present die to the front and then a plain piece of the present die to the back. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Here's the front of it. I'll layer it up and I just put some little pre more little presents inside and a little um, paper clip and a, and a cute little charm. And so here's the um, the bag uh, die here inside. Okay. And so this back piece is just a plain back piece. So I have that right there. And then I made another one like this. So this is for my second trailer. And of course I could fill this up with stuff too. I haven't put anything in there. I'm not sure where I'm, you know, what I'm going to do with it yet, but some more little ephemera pieces and Merry Christmas, a little puppy sticker there, and then that can just sit in there. And there's plenty of room here. I mean, I could put more stuff in there too, but look how cute that turned out. I think it is adorable, cute little um, truck and trailer, truck and trailers <laughs> turned out so cute. What do you guys think? I think he turned out really cute. I'm really excited about it. So those are um, a bunch of the dies I used. Um, mo a lot of them are from previous releases, but I'll link them still. Okay. And this little die here, this die here, the 3D claw machine, amazing. You can fit so much inside there too to gift people. Put a little present in there. This is a like I showed you. I have an ornament inside there because um, the, the top just you know pulls off like that so that's how I lined my so I made my my top and then I had stuck this cute little ornament inside there with a Santa so it looks like Santa's driving <laughs> so anyway that's my share for today hope you enjoyed um, leave me a comment um, I will be sure and link Erica's website <clears throat> I will link my um, affiliate link so if you guys use that, it shares a little bit of the profit with me, but it doesn't cost you anymore. And be sure if you do decide to order that you use my code POLKA10, P-O-L-K-A-10. That'll save you 10% off your whole order, okay? Um, I'll list all the dies, link all the dies so you can find them easily. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye guys.